in this tutorial I'm going to look at how we can create features and then save them for reuse later on so if we create our feature first uh, we'll create a um, revolve cutout of a basically a complex hull and we can just position this out here somewhere and then we just define our um, revolve cutout and we need an axis of revolution so let's place some dimensions on here so we'll use our symmetric diameter to define the um, hole sizes so this one here will be 15 and the next one will be 25 we also need to um, get some dimensions on here just so that we lock it to a fixed size. Um, now this is um, going to govern uh, because we've come off the edge um, these can be um, retained so we'll make that uh, 90 and we'll put an angular dimension on here So the other dimension we want to place is just a um, dimension from the edge. And um, again, these these two that are dimensioned to the edge will actually um, be carried through into the feature library. So if we just uh, rotate that around. Now all we need to do is um, copy this feature with a right mouse click and then over here uh, right mouse click to paste it so we can see that we've got the uh, reference plane that it's going to get created on and then we've got the um, dimensions that are all linked to an edge so um, over here we can define a prompt that's going to come up so um, if we double click in there uh, okay so this is this is the prompt that's going to come up and um, going to come up in the prompt bar when you place in the um, hole so um, as you can see as I'm clicking on it it's telling me um, showing me which which dimension it relates to so then we can close it and then we can give our feature a name and then when we save it it comes up in our feature library this is just a, any old any old um, folder that you want to store these in um, and it's um, an actual part file that it creates but um, these can't be edited directly so now that we've created it um, how do you place it well the first thing is just to go over here from the feature library and just drag it into the model so as you can see we're getting our prompts down the bottom here that we've uh, defined so it started by telling me that we need to create a plane to place this onto we can drag this out so 50 mil click to place it so the next step um, click for a point on which to paste the feature so uh, let's change our view orientation um, so if we just place it somewhere in the right sort of area um, what you'll see is now that we've we've we're getting first hole depth so we just need to define where that's going to get linked to uh, full depth is this one here and finally the um, edge and then that actually creates our hole for us and um, if we wish to we can then sort of repeat that so that's how we use feature libraries